Hey guys, it's Steve Innes and it's time for my first ever screencast. Um, anyone that views my blog a lot will realise that I do a lot of application reviews um, but I've never actually done um, a demo of one like this before um, so please bear with me as it's my first attempt. Um, but today I'm going to be looking at a programme called Reader which is an RSS programme based uh, to sync with the Google Reader feature. Um, so anyone that's got a Google Reader or a Google account um, should use this program if they're keen on RSS feeds. Um, for anyone that's never used an RSS program before, hopefully it will open your eyes as to what they do, the benefits, etc, etc. So, if you just look at the um, sort of opening window, this is Reader in its minimised compact view, um, which makes it easier to fit on the screen, and it's quite a nice way to view it, because you can keep other windows up at the same time, and look through all your feeds as well. So, as you can see down the left-hand side, You've got all your unread items, which for me is quite a lot, 2,793. Um, I need to get reading, um, I don't have the time. <laughs> um, and then you've got all your folders as well that you create on the Google Reader website. So Apple, blogs, entertainment, anything you want to do, just to help organize your feeds a little bit better. Um, if you click on these little arrows, you can see it will then drill down into the websites you're actually subscribed to. So 9to5Max, um, iSource, etc etc and you can see the unmode items in those and again that applies all the way down um, to view an item you can just click on the category and it will show you everything that's unread currently in that category and you can then scroll through as you please just before I go into an actual article just at the top here on the top right hand side at the moment it's on the middle circle which means it's going to show you everything that's unread if you click on the one on the left this is everything you've starred within gaming because that's the section I'm in. So if you went up to a starred at the top, it would show you everything that I've starred. So I can get back to those articles nice and easily. The one on the far right will show you everything within the section. So that's read, unread and starred. But bear in mind this is designed to work with your preferences and that depends on how many weeks back you've decided to go. So, uh, for example, if I've set it to two weeks, it will show me all articles that have been published within the last two weeks, regardless of being read, starred, etc. So, let's just go back to the middle to see Unread, and go back to the gaming section, because I know this shows some good examples. So, if we look at one of these articles, you can double-click to view the whole thing. As you can see, it just shows you a sort of summary of what's to be seen in the article uh, which is good because you can quickly see if you want to read it or not um, if you want to get a better reading view you can click on the uh, bottom left hand side which is readability if you do that what it does is it passes it through um, a, a program which makes it easier to read and I had to pick an article that doesn't have anything more to say so let's just close out of that a second and let's go to civilization and see if that's got anything more to say. This hasn't got anything more to say. We'll get there in a minute. I should have pre-designed an article for us to look at. Um, let's have a look at this one. Right, here we go. As you can see, this one says it's got more here that's available. So I can click on readability and it will then load in the rest of the article and you can then read that. This doesn't work for all RSS feeds or articles. There are some limitations to it, but for the most part, it's sort of 95% useful. Um, whilst you're in this um, view, you can uh, do various different things. If you right click, um, actually that's when you click up here, you can send it to readability, which I've already done, mail link, or you can open it with Instapaper or Google Mobilizer. And again, up here if I wanted to, I can tweet it as well. So I can send it straight to Twitter. Um, I can also send it to Instapaper straight from up here. And I can copy the link. These are configurable. There's loads more you can add, which I'll go through later in the preferences. And you can do various different things. Um, at this stage, if you click on the title, it will then open it within your web browser. So you can actually view the article as it was on the website. There you go. Um, so that's pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Um, so again, to close it, you can either click on the uh, little cross, which I just did, 
or press the escape key. Now, if you don't want to view it in this compact view and you want to see more of what's actually going on, you can actually read the feed as you scroll down. You can go into, into its full size mode, which is done by clicking on the little arrow down here or by in, in the view options going to layout. So if you do that, it then goes full screen. So you can then see the articles as you scroll down them, which is a much quicker way for reading through articles. You can just see if you want to read it or not. If you don't, just scroll by it and it gets marked as read and you can continue on. And yeah, it's good if you want to have a quick look through everything. Um, whereas the compact view is better if you've got lots of stuff in your desktop and you just want to have a quick look. Um, so that's basically it. Um, you can obviously mark all things as red if you want to, or you can do a search within the items that are available on your screen. Um, the search is one of the most recent features to be added, um, so it's still being enhanced, etc. Um, but it's getting a lot better. Um, but let's just go into the settings a second, or preferences as Matt call it. And you can see you can change things like the Google account it's connected to, the unread count, which is shown down here. If I had less than a thousand unread in the bar down here, it would show me and it would show me the count, which is quite handy. Let me just do that. So yeah, down here where it's dotted out at the moment because I've got over a, a thousand. If I had 900, it would show me that I've got 900 unread. So let's just go back to the preferences and you can change the appearance if you want to. So you can change the tint, which is, as you can see, it changes the background from sort of light gray to orangey gray. Not really sure what color you call that, but you can see the difference. You can change the texture. I'm not really sure what the texture does, to be honest. I think it just makes it a little bit clearer. Uh, the contrast, again, changes how strong the tint is on it. Uh, the font size and the article row height. Um, you can also change the syncing. So this is what I mentioned earlier on. Depending on how much you're syncing and how far back you go in, you can see that for me, syncing all one red items, all styled items, and keeping red items for two weeks. Again, if you want to, you can change it. So I could go back two weeks into this archive if I wanted to. Um, again, with services, which I said there was lots more, you can copy links, you can add a note, you can send it to readability, you can send it to Instapaper, send it to read it later, you can send it to Pinboard, send it to Delicious, send it to Zootool, you can tweet it as I've already shown, you can email it, you can use it with Instapaper Mobilizer and Google Mobilizer, and you can view it in your browser. So that's entirely up to you. With regards to reading, you can have a confirmation when you mark it as read, change the font, um, and you can control you know, how you do those things. So it's, it's up to you how you do it. And there's also lots of keyboard shortcuts available. Um, another great feature is if you've got um, an Apple Magic Mouse or a Magic Trackpad, you can customize the gestures. So if you swipe left, for example, you toggle viewing it in the in-app browser, which I'll show you in a minute. If you swipe up, you go to the previous article, down the next article, pinch open is readability, pinch close, uh, turns it off again. So it's entirely up to you. And again, you can customize these as well. So if you did wanted to do pinch open being to Twitter, you could do that, no problems at all. So it's all pretty straightforward. Um, so that's pretty much it, to be honest. Um, as I say, with the built-in browser, what you can do is if you go to an article and you use the arrow keys or the swipe, you can press the right arrow key and you can view it within the in-app browser, which is helpful if you don't want to open it in the new browser. Um, but again, it's entirely up to you. So yeah, this is Reader. It's great if you use RSS feeds. If you don't, you're not going to want to use it. Um, if you read a lot of RSS feeds, then it's perfect. Um, it's probably, I've used a few other RSS readers and they're not as good as this. It's clean, it's simple to use. The developer's actively changing it and enhancing it. As I say, it's still in beta, so it's not even released yet. Um, I don't know when it's gonna be an official release or how much it's gonna cost, but as and when that happens, um, I'll let you know. But for now, it's free and I'll put the link to it if you've got a Mac in the bottom of this video. So thanks very much guys, hope my first screencast was okay and I'll be back shortly with another one. See ya.